Hey guys, this is Brian from Wooden Creations. Today, I'm gonna to show you something that I've invented that's gonna change the CNC world. The Bit Duster uses the E3's impressive 30,000 RPM Dewalt Rotter exhaust to keep your workpiece clear of sawdust and visible at all times. No electricity, no batteries, no gimmicks. This is a bit duster. The way that it works is that it mounts to the base of your E3 CNC like the one behind me with these two screws. Then your Dewalt exhausts air into both of these holes which gets rerouted through this final tube then blows onto your bit. The amount of air that comes out of here is similar to blowing out candles at your birthday. It's just enough to move the dust about five inches away and almost 99% of the dust stays on the bed itself. Now then, this I find a better option over a dust shoe because for one, the dust shoe doesn't always pick up all the dust. When you get done using this, a quick two or three seconds with a shot back cleans it up. Let's time how long it actually takes to clean up the CNC after a project. If you owned a bit duster, you would only have to listen to a shot back for nine seconds. A common question I get is people requesting a dust shoe. Let's discuss a dust shoe for a moment, and then I'll show you why I prefer a bit duster instead. A dust shoe's basic design looks like this drawing I made, where it mounts a router and a shop vac hose. The downfall of a dust shoe, being the extra noise while you CNC for an hour and the extra electricity, is a lot of designs block the view of a bit and the cut it's making. Are you cutting too deep or not deep enough? Is the bit or shoe going to hit a hold down? Or just like this reenactment I did, did the tab get too thin and your piece popped up and now it's a hazard for your bit? It's something to consider if you go that route. I'm not saying a dust shoe is bad, but if you have a choice, an enclosure using a bit duster would provide complete silence as well as your best option for dust containment. No enclosure, no problem. You're gonna love the bit duster and it's 360 degree view. I think it's time to do a comparison with one of my biggest bits and some wet pine to show you the difference. Changing bits is a cinch as the bit duster doesn't need to be removed. If you notice the older bit duster version on the left has its hoses pointed downward versus the curve of the newer one on the right. The hoses naturally come curved as the manufacturer sells them in rolls and I cut them to length. I personally prefer the hose to point at the bit with just a little bit of curve for the best performance. But after months of use it's possible gravity and warm air may make them straighten out. A cool trick to return the curve to your bit duster is to remove the hose and reverse the ends and you'll once again have a curve.
In addition to selling the original, I've thought about selling a 3D version. If that's something you guys would be interested in, let me know down in the comments. I'd also like to share one more thing with you guys real quick. You may have seen this in the video. This is a tumbler made from Canaan Creations. And uh, I just sent in my logo and they're able to put this in. The cool thing on this one is, is they use an epoxy and then they use a rotisserie to spin it so it leaves it a nice, even, glassy um, surface here and it, it seems really nice. In Wooden Creations fashion, I had to put something funny on it. So, bit duster. It doesn't suck, it blows. So if you guys are interested in uh, getting your own tumbler, uh, look them up. If you guys are interested in buying something like this that says this, let me know and uh, I can see if she can make some more. But uh, anyway, um, also in regards to the bit duster, if you guys like those, that's great. And you want to order one, that's fine. Um, WoodenCreations.com. There's a store there. Go in there and you can purchase them there. So anyway, I appreciate you guys watching today and uh, we'll see you in the next video. In this video, you may have noticed a different faceplate at times on the bit duster. As of now, all orders going forward will be shipped with the new laser cut face. I'm making the switch to laser to help me improve speed and help with production as I begin working on the next E3 invention.